Okay, let's continue our discussion about work. Uh, let's have here an example. Identify the network for this given figure. So, meron tayong box na may mass na 10 kilograms. And we have an external force pushing it na, sa, na naka 45 degree angle. And the force P is 20 newtons. So, sa sahig, meron tayong coefficient of friction na 0 0.1. And may kita mo dito in green that the box move by 10 meters to the left dahil pinush natin siya ng 20 newtons dito. Okay? So, ang unang step na gagawin ko is I will isolate the box and see or label or the all the forces na nag act doon sa box or what we call the pre-body diagram. Okay, so here is the pre-body diagram. Okay, nung box natin, so may kita mo, ito yung weight ng box, mg, yung mass times acceleration to do, due to gravity. And then here is the force. We have a normal force sa hig at saka a friction force to the right or, or opposite the direction of motion. Okay, so ang una natin gagawin, uh, na label na natin yung pre-body diagram of course is we need to identify or calculate yung values nung mga forces na nakalagay doon sa pre-body diagram so identify the values of the forces in the pre-body diagram uh, ang una kong gagawin pinakamadali yung mg of course yung weight niya is mg so, that is simply 10 kilograms times 9.81 ang ginagamit ko as uh, acceleration to, to gravity. So, we have uh, 98.1 newtons. Okay. Now, if I take the summation of forces vertical, okay, with upward positive, ano mangyayari? Of course, this is... Uh, this should be equal to 0 dahil equilibrium siya sa vertical direction. Okay, let's add up all the vertical components. So we have F sub N, yung normal force, minus yung Mg, and yung vertical component ng P. So pababa siya, so minus 20 or yung P, uh, cosine of 45 degrees equal to 0. At pag sinubstitute natin yung mga values dyan, of course, sa so substitute mo dito sa mg, ito yung 98.1, yung p, yan yung 20. Okay, ang makukuha mo is lalabas na fn or the normal force is 112.24 newtons. Lastly, dahil meron tayong given na coefficient of friction, yung friction force natin, We'll have a value na 0 0.1 Fn or 0 0.1 ito. That is 11.22 newtons. Okay. Pag nasolve na natin yung mga values, uh, in the drawing ko ulit yung pre-body diagram with, with the values. So here is the pre-body diagram with the values of the forces. Ang next step natin is we will now solve for the... Uh, work done by each force. Okay? Yan ang second step. Solve natin yung work done ng bawat isang force acting on our uh, object or on our box. So, simula natin yung work done by gravity. Ang force natin is yung mg, no? Ito yung force, mg. And the work done by gravity, let's let's say W sub G, work done by gravity, is yung force of gravity, 98.1, times yung distance na trainable, 10 meters, times the cosine of the angle. Now, ano yung angle na yan? Yung angle nyan, directly pababa to, yung travel natin is pakaliwa, so the angle is a right angle, no? yung between the force and yung direction ng travel, it's a right angle. So, it's 90 degrees. And, of course, as expected, yung cosine ng 90 degrees is 0. So, the work done by gravity is 
zero, no? Uh, dahil nga vertical yung gravity tapos ang motion niya is palep, uh, walang kinontribute yung gravity doon sa work na yun. No, palep yung motion eh tapos pababa yung gravity. So zero siya. Similarly, doon sa FN natin, ano yung work na ginawa niya? Yung work nung normal force, uh, of course, zero rin yan. Dahil pataas yung normal force, uh, walang i-contribute yun sa motion niya pa pakaliwa. Or, or you can say 112.24 times 10, tas cosine of, ano yung angle between FN sa yung direction ng distance natin na 10 meters, 90 degrees din. So, zero din yung cosine 90 degrees. Yung work ng normal force is zero. Para naman doon sa work na ginawa nung P or yung WP, uh, this is 20 newtons times 10 times cosine of. Ito, uh, nakalagay dito yung angle niya papunta sa horizontal. So, cosine of 45 degrees. So, the work done by the force P uh, is 141.42 Joules. Okay, pag kinompute mo to, yan yung lalabas. How about sa friction? Yung work done by friction. So, we have 11.22. The direct, uh, the distance is 10. Cosine of ilang degrees. So, yung friction mo is acting papunta sa kanan. Papunta siya sa right. Yung displacement o yung distance traveled is papunta sa kaliwa. So, that's that's no, kung ito yung directions, that's a full 180 degree turn, di ba? Baliktaran sila. So, 180 degrees is negative 1. Pag sinolve mo yan, the friction or the work due to friction is actually negative 112.2 joules. Tingnan nyo ha. Yung P did a positive work, amount of work, dahil tinulak niya papunta sa kaliwa yung box. Yung friction did a negative work. Ang ibig sabihin nun, P contributed doon sa effort na matulak siya by speeding up the box. Si friction naman, pinapabagal niya yung box, kaya negative. And so, yung network, i-add mo lang lahat ng work na ginawa ng mga forces acting on the box. So, zero to, zero to. So, you have WP na lang plus WF. Kasi zero na yung normal at saka gravity. So, we have 141.42 plus yung negative 112.2. So, the net work, no, yung total work done on the object is 29.22 joules. So, that is the answer for this problem. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.